also refer to this later on. So good day everybody. I'm going to show you how to add navigation to your scene, to your animation. The next and previous buttons. What I've done is, in my scene one, I've created a back button like this. How did I create a back button? Go to insert, new symbol, give it a name, select button, and then design it. Whenever you, you are inside it, you just design the back button. So, back, previous, which is um, back, and then next. These are the two buttons I've designed after I designed the play button. And then I give the frame names. Every keyframe has a name. This is start playing, this is scene one, this is scene two, scene three, scene four. And the way I've organized this, on every scene, there's a back and next button. On every on scene two also, there's a back and next button. Scene three, there's a back and next button. Scene four, there's a back and next button. So what they will do, they will, when the user clicks next, it will take it to the next screen. Upon previous, it will take it to the previous screen. So what I need to do now here, when this up till now it's working, when the user clicks on play, I have the play button working. I in in the beginning I went to action, I wrote stop, and then I clicked on the play button. When I dragged and dropped it, it on the screen, I went to code snippets, timeline navigation, click to go to frame and play. I double clicked it and it added the action in my action script this action and I just replaced the number with start playing because that's the name I've given to this frame start playing now when it starts playing it just plays because the play button has an action go to this start playing frame and play so it plays but now it should come here and stop that's what I want to do. It should finish scene one actually and then stop. So I wanted to finish this and stop. To do that, what I'm going to do is in the end, on the actions layer, I'll right click, insert keyframe. And you remember, whenever we use insert keyframe, we want to change something. At this point, when the user clicks on next, it will go to next. When the user click back, it will go to back. So I'm going to do that again on anywhere on scene one on scene one I have to create on the actions layer a keyframe you can create in the end you can also create in the beginning if you create in the beginning a keyframe the action will be there in the beginning for the user to click if you create the keyframe in the end the action will only be available once the scene one has finished so it's it's up to the designer what he or she wants to do so let me, I'll click anywhere and create a keyframe like this one. So I, I, if I create here, the user will have the option to go to the next screen, even at the start of scene one. So I'll create a keyframe in the actions layer. I click on next. And you know how to add a code uh, at, the, at the action of the, go to the frame and play. This is scene two. So I'll say, on next I've clicked go to frame and play select ok accept the default and right here scene in single quote 1 or scene 2 sorry that was the scene 2 which I want to go now scene 2 so when the user clicks on next it should go to scene 2 if you remember this is case sensitive and it has to be the same name copy if you're not sure, paste the name here. When I, you know, when I went to the actions, I wrote scene two. Easier way to do this, you type it or you can just paste here scene two. So that would take you to the scene two. All right. And for back also, you need to do this. <clears throat> when the user clicks on back, go to the previous screen okay so you need to click on the back button code snippet go to the previous go to a frame and do what and play right so what I'm going to do is go to the a certain frame and play that's what I'm going to do so click 
this and here I'll write where do I want to go when I click back can you tell me when I click this back it should go here right start playing so I'll you, again you can copy or you can type it's up to you this is what I want to do so go the next this next takes us here and this next takes us here okay this this is how you organize the next and back so I want you guys to do all these back and next button for the animation which you have created okay so it should go there and stop one one last step what you have to do is once you finish once this scene is finished you see this is finished once this is finished it goes to the scene one automatically but once scene one is finished it should stop it should stop it should not go to the next one did I tell it to stop I did not so here when it finishes I should go to uh, this layer and insert a keyframe add action and say stop so what it will do is it will stop once the, this scene is finished it will stop and once this scene 2 is finished I should go in the end and say insert keyframe and stop just before the next scene starts I should say stop because I want the user to play to, to click on the, the next and previous button so at the end of every scene I want it to stop so I'll insert a keyframe and I'll say stop so I've done this for the scene one only I want you to do organize these buttons like this and do for all screens so let me just play this when I play the movie will be playing it will automatically go to the scene one and then finish playing scene one and then stop that's what it should do see movie started movie playing scene one stop because once the scene one is finished I ask it to stop and then when I click on the back it should go to the previous meaning movie playing and then it go back it will come back here see movie playing it came back here and then it stopped because I asked it to stop when you click on next now is when it will go to this next uh, scene and keep on playing until I ask it to stop but here next and previous acts I have not given so you have to give the next so it goes to the two and then three and then four etc okay so uh, I hope this buttons exercise and these names of these uh, keyframes made sense to you and uh, I uh, will see you with your exercises when you submit on BB Learn. Okay, thank you very much for watching.